Welcome back 838 is your time. The world's greatest superheroes have descended on downtown Atlanta and Paul's there too. I, I think. know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For a weekend of uh, fellowship and fandom. Dragon Con is back, drawing tens of thousands of pop culture fans and a long list of celebrity guests. And good day's Paul Milliken is live at the Hyatt Regency this morning. Paul, you you know a thing or two about superheroes. You mm -hmm. you read, read comic it. books a lot. You watch them on television. No, 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 that's <laughs> not what You wear a shirt that that's says not Marvel. What I wrote. Read what's in the teleprompter. Being a superhero, I belong here. Yes, good morning. Live from Dragon Con. Good Good morning, guys. Good How you morning. All doing? Can I just say, props number one to all of you for looking amazing. Number two, for looking amazing before 9 o'clock in the morning. I know you don't sleep during Dragon Con, so you guys look fantastic. It's great to see you, and it's great to be back. And, of course, someone that always looks fantastic, no matter what time of the day, is the great Dan Carroll. Good to see you. How are you? I am well. Dragon Con is back. Yes. The energy this year is just phenomenal. Yes. Everyone's super excited. Last year we came back smaller. Yeah. But this year we, we're going up to 60,000 people and it's just going to be amazing. Yeah. Uh, and Atlanta embraces us and we love Atlanta. Yeah, so you guys basically take over downtown for five full days of just fun. We're talking about cosplay, gaming, so many tracks. What are you excited about this year specifically? Well, this year I'm probably excited about what I'm most excited about every year is this Dragon Con family. I get to see my friends coming in from around yeah. the world, yeah. not just across the country, but around the world to celebrate Dragon Con. It's all about the whatever you like, whether it's whether it's I don't know what that is, but it's amazing. <laughs> what is it? Corella Deville. There Corella Deville. Yeah. Whether it's, it's Wizard of Oz, movies, Marvel. everything. We've yeah. got it all covered. And if there's something that you like, you're going to find it here. And the thing that everybody loves about Dragon Con is you're going to find friends. We are the place where. Yeah, that is we're, true. Regardless of who you are, yeah. you are able to find a family. And uh, if you come with the kids during the day, it's an amazing place to bring the kids. If you're coming at night, you're a little bit older, it's going to be a great place to party. To party a little bit, absolutely. And what we love about Dragon Con is something I think we don't always talk about every year, is the charitable component. There's a big charitable component. And this year, your chosen recipient is Open Hand Atlanta. That's where Katie comes in. Good morning to you. Good morning. Well, first of all, tell me what Open Hand Atlanta is. So Open Hand Atlanta is one of the largest community-based uh, providers of home-delivered meals and nutrition. Mm -hmm. um, here in Atlanta, we've been doing it for 30 years. We package and prepare 5,000 meals a day, wow. deliver directly to doorsteps, free of charge to our clients who are living with disability, illness, chronic illness, who are too sick and unable to cook and prepare wow. food for themselves. Wow. And so we're just thrilled to be here yeah. this year. Well, and I know that grocery prices for me have gone up significantly. I think restaurants have said that too. That has to be affecting you guys as well. Absolutely. Um, our food costs have gone up 28% over the last couple of years. Wow. Again, we're providing these meals free of charge to people that rely on us to give them their meals. They wouldn't know where their next meal would be coming from if not for Open Hand Atlanta. And so it has a big effect, um, these rising prices on what we do, which is why donations and support um, to Open Hand are more important than ever. And why, again, we're just thrilled to be here, to be chosen to par partner with Dragon Con. Yeah. and to be the recipient of their incredible generosity. I mean, like Dan said, you can just feel the energy here. You can feel the oh, excitement. Yeah. And we're just so thrilled to be a small part of that because it makes a huge difference to those that we're serving. Yeah, great to see you. And we will link your website to our website for people that want more info on Open Hand Atlanta. I also have another exclusive interview lined up. This is my buddy D4 down here. D4 said, Paul, I want to talk to you about some of your coworkers. So let me, let me get set for this because I think this might be emotional. Now, you said before you have a specific favorite on Good Day Atlanta that really touches your heart every day during his segments at 8:40, 9:20 and 10:30. Who who would that be? Paul Milligan. That's what I thought. Paul Milligan. That is, yeah. thank you. That is now, there was somebody who every day you said just, you want to run. You want to just bike Cover away so fast from that years. television screen <laughs> when that face Not comes on the me. screen. Who, who was that again? Oh gosh, Buck. Yeah, that that's what I thought. <laughs> now, look, I'm I'll tell you. Now, some days Sharon Lawson is my BFF and some yes. days she kind of teams up with that Buck Lanford guy, Never. you know. So what do we, what do we think of Sharon? Amazing. I agree. It depends on the day. Oh, I agree. See, D4 knows what it's all about. It what depends I mean, if Sharon's on. being my friend, I'm then we love Sharon. Your friend. When she teams up with Buck. No. Can you show your bike skills real quick? I want to show you show you. Look at those bike skills. Yeah. 
You can run right into Tim if you want to. Just go get Tim. Go get him. Get him. Come on. He's fine. He's fine. Just don't break the camera. <laughs> Paul, even though you haven't been nice New this morning, BFF. I'm going to be. Oh, you are. Um, All right. I have a question. Okay. I saw all those costumes behind yeah. you, but someone's dressed up like uh, the Peachtree Center Marta Station or something. Mm -hmm. what, what, what's yes, going on there? Yes, indeed. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right there. Yep. <laughs> We've got the Marta Station here at Dragon Con. That's the thing. That's you never fabulous. know what costume you will see coming through the lobby of one of these hotels. The geeks come out at ATL. <laughs> she was you talking to you, Paul, apparently. I, it was, once again, that was Sharon, not me. It's Proudly. a good thing. Proudly. That's a good thing. All right. Come Proudly. on. All right. <laughs> you want to be a geek during Thanks, Dragon Paul. Con. Dragon Con continues through Monday in downtown Atlanta. For a full list of events, follow the links at fox5atlanta.com. Just look for the story under the Good Days section. Look, I wouldn't mind being a geek right now. 845 is my, now I'm the time. I'm trying to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> We're back after this.